Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Hey, I know it's been a while since my last vlog and I know that this one is late and I'm sorry about that. I am doing major editing and I have one vlog going up tomorrow morning. I was supposed to post last Friday and I, I downloaded it to my drive and I forgot. Uh, so please bear with me, but today is a very special vlog. Today is Mother's Day 2018 and like the rest of you, I have a mother and I'm not going to get into it, but what I wanted to do today is talk to those of you who are moms that have children on the spectrum, and I wanted to give you some tips and advice. So, first and foremost, moms, uh, I know that some of you deal with a lot of stress, and some of you uh, deal with panic attacks, tantrums, and you deal with behaviors that you don't quite understand when you deal with, uh, uh, with, with thoughts of what will you, what's going to happen when I die, what's going to happen when I'm not around anymore. And the truth is, just don't worry about those things now, okay? Just worry about how you can make a difference in your child's life, whether they're, whether they're two or whether they're, they're 13, they're 30, or whether they're uh, 50 years old. The best thing you can do is make a difference in your child's life. The other thing you can do is uh, write down all, or keep a journal, write down all the things that you are learning from your child, whether it's patience, or whether, um, or whether society is teaching you some things that are unrealistic. Like, our culture teaches us that we have to look a certain way, dress a certain way, act a certain way, and our culture teaches us that we only have to have normal people that don't jump around, don't flap their hands, don't rock back and forth, don't make certain buzzing noises like ah, ah, ah. Um, and I know that some of you are angry about that, but the truth is uh, you can't change your child, you're not in control of it. So. Rather, the best thing to do is to go with the flow and uh, find uh, effective ways that can work for your child. I mean, yes, they may never use a toilet or they may, may never talk to you the way that your other children can talk to you, but just pay attention to them. Um, if you're going on a trip, like to another country, and you keep sending your child to a caregiver, Try to do your research and find the best accommodations possible for your child so that they can join you because I believe in inclusion and acceptance. Um, I also wanted to let those of you know that your child is not a burden just because they're rocking back and forth or because they're covering their ears or because they seem to be childlike on the outside. But, but if you spend time with them, you may discover precious jewels from this person may discover that they can use a letter board like this. You may discover that they can use one of these. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a letter board and this is how they communicate. Some of them can communicate. Uh, for instance, what do you want to do? And then they may point to their ear and say, listen, and then they might connect to music. They might connect to music saying that they want to listen to music. Other times, they may tell you what they're thinking. Like, they might say, H, 
hi, like they might tell you hi, and they might take forever spelling out whatever it is. Or they might be using the same thing with phone boards, or they might use text-to-speech devices, and you may get the same voice that you get with Stephen Hawking. Or you may deal with someone who doesn't read social cues, or someone that struggles with social skills, and you may be frustrated with that. But the best thing that you can do today, Mom, is spend time with your child and teach them how to love. I mean, yes, you've been taught that autistics don't know how to love because they're different wirings in our brain. Well, that is um, a piece of bullshit. And they say that you meet one autistic, you haven't met them all. Or rather, no two snowflakes are exactly alike. I mean, they're autistic with different personalities and different interests. And it's just all kinds of things. Uh, so my suggestion to you is that you don't try to fix your child. Don't complain about your child because your mother's day sucks. I just would love to have discussion.